Welcome back to the Homestead Homestead, everybody. I'm Driver 53, and today I'm going to pick up some buttered popcorn, and then I've got to pick up a really large new purchase, guys. I've got about $30,000 here in the bank, and I got to sell some of this popcorn, even though it's not the best time of the year. I got to go and get it sold. That way I can go ahead and pick up my brand new grain cart that I just ordered, because I'm going to need it for this next harvest, guys. It is a beast of a harvest. I've got three fields that i've got to get taken care of of corn that is the highest yielding crop here in our area and i'm gonna go ahead and just get it knocked out here in the month of october if you enjoyed today's video make sure to hit like subscribe and turn on your notifications now i'm not saying it's the biggest field because this field over here is like a massive monster guys this thing this is like a future goal of mine that i really want to get this field here but before I can do that, I've got another big piece of property that I've got to buy, and that's going to help me be able to afford that one right there. And that plan starts with getting this butter to popcorn that we've got up here at our popcorn production facility. I'm going to be able to sell it, be able to make some money, to spend money, to make more money. You guys know how it is. Well, there it is. They said they were going to have it sitting outside for me. I got to go inside and get their skin steer. We're going to get this trailer loaded. I got 15 pallets loaded up here and it, it took a little bit and it, it's not the cleanest job, but I don't think they're going to care up here where we're selling it at. This is going for Boy Scout popcorn, y'all. $71,000 later and now I'm heading to the shop to pick up this new green cart. This thing sure is a beauty. Dimco 1322 inch dual auger got the display right here so i can see exactly how much crop we've got coming off the fields big old tires painted ice blue electric tarp over the thing guys this is i mean it's 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 a piece but i need it i need it it was not cheap not cheap at all but it's definitely definitely needed because we are going to fill this thing up multiple multiple times here on this harvest i uh, i don't know if this thing's gonna fit very well I might have to get a sign or I could just run back up here with my other tractor and pick it up. That's a little bit better. Now, I am going to have to be careful up here about all the traffic, but I'm not going to have to worry about a trailer and, and trying to break things. I mean, it's it's taken up every bit of the lane and then a little bit. We're going to be good. As soon as I get back to the farm, we're going to go ahead and fire up the harvesters. Yes, I said harvesters. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shortcut right here. Let's go ahead and get this uh, cover opened up. Like I said, we've got two harvesters now, y'all. I was able to find another used, really nice case. Uh, but this one, this one's four wheel drive now. It's not two like the other one. So I gotta warm it up here. And as you can see, it's really, really similar. Um, just a little bit narrower tires on this one. The hopper is red instead of black at least a header because i didn't have enough money and couldn't really find one a good used one but the big difference right here is this four-wheel drive system so over here on this one you can see how it it doesn't have any uh drive going to these rear tires all they're doing is just steering and on this one here you can see it's actually got a, a rear differential or not a rear differential but a rear axle and it, it's actually got stuff happening back here so this is going to help drive a little bit pull the tractor or push the tractor forward so it's gonna be a better machine in the long run for the farm here even though it is a little bit older i still think it's gonna be a good one to use now our parker gravity or our parker uh grain cart right here a little bit small but i'm gonna hang on to it because for any of my small fields this is still gonna work really good soybeans i still think it's gonna be okay but for the big harvests we're gonna use this big guy right here and that way I could have two harvests going at the same time. You know, if I've got soybeans going on and I've got, I don't know, maybe a late corn harvest or something like that, I, I could absolutely be doing both of them at the exact same time. Well, they almost made it all the way around. Pretty, pretty close. But I guess I got here with the great car. We're going to go get this thing unloaded. Let them get back to it. This thing, this harvester, got a super long auger arm. Let's hopefully, yeah, we're good. We're good. All right. Now, the other one is right there coming up here really really close so i'm probably gonna barely move anything at all and then they're gonna be ready to unload as well and then i've gotta wait until they get clear 
and then we're gonna be good so a little bit of a process right here on the first round but once we get going back and forth on this field i don't think we're gonna have any problem at all keeping up with these guys all right that's a pretty good load right there it looks like we got about twenty three thousand four fifty nine. i mean that's not even half of this i don't know what that field is i gotta get that looked at it is down 20 till 10 and i've got the first load going up here into our newly expanded silo and guys we we don't have hardly anything done at all on that farm i'm gonna be very very busy here in this uh trailer today and uh i, I got a feeling i got a feeling that we're gonna keep three workers busy the entire day the one thing that we've had to start doing here is only filling this thing about half full and the reason is because it's actually pulling the front tires off of the ground can't see it right now because we've only got this thing like i said half full a little bit over half at 59 percent but when this thing is at 100 percent, the front tires on this tractor come off the ground i made a call into town and they say they've got some weights in there but i've actually got to go to the shop and then be able to uh, get that thing installed so we're gonna take a little bit of a break here right after lunch i may get the other that cart out with the smaller new holland um but this cart or this tractor has got to go to the shop and get some weights put on the front end y'all how about three full trucks plus about thirteen thousand more that is insane that's like a hundred and thirty three thousand liters of corn off that field right there we've still got that big monster back over there the new one that we just purchased now i don't think the yield's gonna be super big on it because we didn't do everything to it that we could have but we didn't own it that long i mean literally i just bought it i've got one of the workers taking the tractor in into town to get the weights put on it they should be back hopefully hopefully within the next 30 minutes or so and then we've got the other workers over here on the right. You can see they are already going to town. Get that little field. I'm going to have a solo worker do that. And then once they're done, then we're going to fire off on this big one right here and get this thing knocked out. Almost 23,000 off that little field right there. Don't worry. Next year is going to be a lot more because we're increasing the size of that field. Yes, I'm going closer to the tree line in the back. And then we're going to do the same thing to the really big field that we just set the second harvester off on as well. So now we have two harvesters out there. I got two grain carts. I'm going to have the truck back over there. Y'all, I just remembered I got to do some spraying too. It's a good thing I had this second grain cart still because the harvesters are making pretty good progress. And it's quite a long way all the way down there to the other end so what i've done is set up the one grain cart all the way down to the other end and then this grain cart is just gonna hang out down here a little bit and then they're gonna fill me up and then i'm gonna be good to go so we've got the other grain cart actually unloading they're about three quarters of the way full right now so hopefully when this other harvester gets down that way a little bit they're gonna fill up too and then we're gonna be good to go and rock and roll and i think i think we're gonna be okay i mean it's it might be a struggle for me to keep up here with the trailer but fortunately i'm still pretty close we're still having a little bit of problem with the big tractor keeping the front wheels on the ground i don't know i i guess i got too big of a grain cart maybe we're gonna have to go with the bigger tractor now i don't know those, those things aren't cheap maybe we could find one used or something maybe i shouldn't have sold that steiger and here is a load number three that's 121 thousand liters already off the field what's well, lunchtime and the crews are in town and grabbing a bite to eat i'm over here gonna go ahead and load up all of this silage bales into our building right here this thing looks really really full but trust me guys there's more room everybody's back from lunch and i don't know if i'm taking load number four or five i i think five i don't know i'm gonna have to check my totals well we're not done with the harvest yet but the old two-wheel drive it's it's broken i'm not sure exactly what's going on with it we keep getting a whole bunch of errors it just it isn't 
it isn't acting right. So instead of having a loss in the grain, I'm going to go ahead and just have the other one to keep doing its thing. We're going to get a service tech out here. Take a look at this thing. I mean, I'm going to need it soon for the soybeans. I've got another load here of 40,400 liters. And then I've got about 48,000 in the grain cart. Yes, the big one is full and I'm are almost full. And I'm going to figure out how to get it over here without causing too much of a problem because the front wheels are still coming off the ground. Definitely. I, I just witnessed it again. The last of the cord going into the silo right now. Y'all, we have almost 450,000 liters of corn. Oh man, that is a lot of hob corn. Now, to get the harvester serviced, get the tractors maintenance, and to figure out how I'm gonna be able to harvest all of this soy with potentially just one harvester.